Okay, here we are. And uh, here's where I'm plugged in. And uh, I have a question from the forums about outputting drums to outputs one and two as opposed to left right. Uh, as many of you know, you can output the left right outputs to one, two, or three, four here. But that's all the audio that goes to left right, not just the drums. This person wants to isolate the drums. So something you should know about drums, which are edited in global, and let me go to a kit here, is that Korg usually sends drums to the first five insert effects. So what I mean is, and this was covered in the uh, Oasis DVD, snares go to IFX1. Basses go to IFX2. And uh, toms, number three. And hi-hats to IFX4. And all other percussion to IFX5. So keep in mind that if you take a drum kit and uh, you bring it into uh, sequence mode, and you press uh, enter record right and set up to record, when it goes to that sequence kit, it brings in those first five effects right there. And they aren't always in that order because sometimes there are other effects and uh, if they are added to some uh, uh, setups that already have effects, they will go around them. But generally, the drums are assigned to the first five insert effects. So snare, bass, tom, hi-hats, other percussion. Now going back to combi, you could do this in sequence or combi mode. This person wants to isolate drums. So something to know is that you go to IFX and routing one, and the drum sounds will all have these drum kit buttons, even if they're not checked. and what you do is, is you click on anywhere in that drum path and it'll show you the routing to the, to the different effects these drums go to. And here the five effects are split up as I was saying. So here, these three, four drum sounds are all routed to those same five. So if I play them, and then there's only three outputting here at the left rights. You could send those drum kits directly to outputs one, two, or if you want to retain the effects and you want to hear the drums going through the compressors and limiters, phasers, etc., then you want to output from the effects. So watch this. Out of IFX four, five, and eight. And on my mixer, I have different levels for left, right, and one and two. So watch this. Insert four, insert five, going to one, two, and eight. Now I have the bass and other sounds isolated and the drums on their own tracks. For this demonstration, I'm using the Oasis as a mixer for the Kronos. So left, right, and outputs one and two. And there's the isolation. Let's go to the next uh, combi, Smooth uh, Jasmataz. I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's uh, find out what the routings are here. All right, two drum kits. This one's going to IFX3. And this one is seven and eight. So three, seven, and eight.
Okay, here's the... This sound, you have to turn the drum track button on to get the drums. Prime directive. And if we go to the routing here, um, here's the drum kit. And it's only routed to the stereo limiter. And what happens in these situations when they don't have all the effects, like the other four effects, is some of the drums go to the left-right. They just, they're dry. So um, you can route all this drum kit through the limiter if you want, or, as I said, directly to one, two. Watch this. Drums to one, two. Or you can send uh, that drum kit to IFX1 and do it from there. Anyways, that is how you can route different sounds. And there's so much that you can do with this bus system. You can take audio tracks and route them to uh, to the effects control bus and uh, their own insert effects. And they're just unlimited possibilities on this thing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that.